Question 7. Figure above shows um, 15 kilogram weight suspended by a 0 0.1 meter vertical metal wire with cross-sectional area 2.5 millimeter square. Okay. A 10 km, no, no, a 10 kilogram weight is suspended by a similar wire from the bottom of the 15 kilogram weight. Calculate the strain for each wire and the extension for each wire. Young modulus given 1.1 exponent 11 newton per meter square. Young modulus, as you can see, it has two units. It can be newton per meter square or you can just write Pascal. Okay, so either one, you can use either one, Pascal or newton per meter square. Okay, there's a unit for pressure actually. Yeah, same unit with pressure. Young modulus, the stress also, of course. Now, um, so I have the 15 kilogram here and also 10 kilogram here. And these two wire, they are called similar. You see that? The word similar wire. Similar wire means they have the same length. They have the same length. And the cross-sectional area also the same. Even the young modulus, it just mentioned uh, similar wire means they have the same material also. Just same metal. Yeah, it's just say metal, similar metal wire, eh? young modulus or metal. So they have the same material also. Same length, same area, same cross sectional area, same material. So I can sim simplify like this. Same length, L1 equal to L2, 0 0.1 meter. Area 1 equal to area 2. I give you millimeter, milli. Now remember to change the, to SI unit. Uh, because the milli is in the power of 2, so uh, become negative 6, yeah? Uh, because this milli, milli actually is negative 3, I know. Milli is negative 3, but it is, uh, it is under the power of 2. It has a square, you see that, the square here? Uh, it has a square here. So negative 3 under the power of 2, negative 3 times 2 become negative 6. Uh, don't, don't get it wrong, huh? Don't put negative 3, huh? Uh, you must negative 3 multiply by 2, you get negative 6. So always change to SI unit first. Okay, so we got the area for both wire is the same also because it's a similar wire. Similar wire. So the, this is the area. And because it's a similar wire, so the material also the same. And same material, they have the same Young modulus. Given the Young modulus 1.1, exponent 11. Okay. So we got same length, same area, same young modulus, similar wire. Now, uh, first of all, we want to find strain. We want to find strain. Strain related to what? Related to elongation. But before we want to find elongation, first we must find what is the stress. What is the stress experienced by both wire? Okay, stress by experienced by both wire. Uh, then only. Uh, the stress will bring the strain, isn't it? Uh, so, first of all, find, to find the stress, we must find the tension. Uh, yeah, we know there must be a tension acting in the wire. You know? Uh, so, um, tension in the wire, in the... Maybe I draw a free body diagram. So, here's the... Uh, 10 G, here's a 10, 10 G, uh, here's, uh, um, or uh, I should write, I should write M2, eh? we, put, we put this as, uh, this is uh, M1, uh, this is M1, this is M2, alright, uh, that's better, right, uh, so this is M, we have uh, M2 G, M2 G, and in the wire we have, uh, this one is tension 2, put as tension 2, uh, and then here have tension 2, uh, yeah, uh, pull tension 2, this one pull tension 2, and then this uh, this uh, block also, it has M1, M1G, and in the, at the top wire, it has uh, tension 1, uh, tension 1, so we have tension 1, tension 1, uh, okay, uh, actually this is the free body diagram for the block. For the block actually this is none of our concern what we want to find is actually the 
uh, tension 1 and tension 2. Okay? Uh, because the tension is the force in the wire. Force in the wire. You see, the tension 1 need to support 2 weight. Uh, you need to support 2 weight. The 15 kilogram and 10 kilogram. So, tension 1 actually need to support the M1G and also M2G. So, tension 1 is bigger. Tension 2 only support the 10 kilogram. Uh, so, this is how we get it. Tension 1, tension 1 in the first wire need to support the 15 kilogram and also need to support 10 kilogram. So, I can say tension 1 equal to M1 plus M2G because the top wire need to support two weight. I need to support the 15 and also need to support the 10. So, we need to add up. Uh, okay, so we can find the tension 1. Tension 1 is equal to 15 plus 10. Sorry. Uh, hold on. Uh. Uh, it is uh, 15 plus 10. Okay. 15 plus 10. Because it needs to support two weight. And then uh, G. Yeah, just multiply. Uh, I just put G. Lah, okay. So we get uh, 25G. So the tension 1 needs to support two weight. 25G. But the tension 2 only support the 10 kilogram. Only support the 10 kilogram. So which is M2, uh, 10 G only. Uh, so the tension 2 only support 10 kilogram. Uh, tension 1 is 25 G. Okay. Now we can find stress. Okay, we can find stress. We have the tension in each wire already. Okay. Tension in each wire. So first, we find the stress in stress in uh, wire one. So force in wire one is tension one over area one. Uh, so force in uh, the tension in a ten wire one is twenty five g. Yeah. So wire one need to support wire one need to support two weight. So fifteen plus ten become twenty five. Uh, and then area 1 is 2.5 exponent negative 6 meter square. Okay, already in SI unit. So I calculate, I get 9.81 exponent 7 pascal. Yeah, that's the stress in wire 1. For wire 2, it is only supporting the 10 kilogram. So it is only 10 G. Uh, so the Force in wire 2 is only T2. Uh, it's only supporting the 10 kilogram at below. So 10G. 10G. So uh, 2 point. Similar wire, isn't it? Similar wire means have the same cross section area. 2.5 exponent negative 6. So I get 3.924 exponent 7 Pascal. Okay, that's the stress in wire 2. Now, uh, I can find the strain. I got the stress. I can find the strain. Use the Young Modulus formula. So, Young Modulus is stress over strain. So, this, this two interchange. Yeah, these two interchange. Uh, I get strain equal to stress over Young Modulus. Uh, okay. So, let's find out the strain in wire 1. Strain wire 1, the uh, stress is 9.81. Just put in 9.81 there. 9.81 exponent 7. Uh, over the Young Modulus, 1.111. 1.11. So, 1.11. Okay. 1.11. So, what do I get? For the strain 1, I get uh, 8.92 exponent, exponent negative 4. Is there any unit for strain? No unit, yeah, no unit. Uh, because why? Because our stress is already Pascal, my young model is also Pascal, so cancel off no unit. Yeah. Now how about the how about the uh strain for wire two? So stress is 3.924, 3.924 exponent 7 over the young modulus 1.9. Yeah, same material with wire 1. So they have the same young modulus, you see. 
Oh, yeah, same yang modulus. So I get um, 3.57 exponent, negative 4, uh, no unit for strain. You see, um, so wire 1 has more strain compared to wire 2 because wire 1 has more stress. It has more stress because it's supporting 25, 25 kilogram. Yeah, both mass add up. So it has more, it has more uh, strain. You see, it has more strain. But wire 2 only support the 10 kilogram. So the strain is, the, the stress is less, the strain also less. Okay, so less, less, this one more elongation, this one less elongation. Yeah, because this one only support 10. Um, okay, maybe I write here. Yeah, more elongation because it support uh, 20, 25 kilogram. This one only support uh, 10 kilogram. Uh, so this one more stress. I assume this one more strain. This one also, this one less strain. Okay. Uh, because it's being pulled by 10 kilogram only. Okay, I got the strain. Now I want to find extension. Uh, you know, uh, extension is always part of strain. So the strain, the strain is actually elongation over length. Uh, so once you got the strain, you can find elongation. It's no big deal. You already got the initial length. Initial length is 0.1 meter. Okay. Yeah. So strain is elongation over L. So want to find elongation is strain times L. Yeah. Just multiply to the top here. I get epsilon L. So uh, my strain. My strain one is uh, 8.3, uh, 8.92, negative 4 times, what is my L0? My L1, L1 is uh, L1 at uh, 0.1. So 0 0.1, so I get 8.92, negative 5 meter. Uh, this is the elongation for wire 1, for wire 2. Uh, it is the strain is 3.57 so 3.57 uh, exponent negative uh, 4 times 0 0.1 initial length so 3.57 exponent negative 5 meter yeah that's it you see wire 1 elongate more because it support 25 kilogram but Wire to elongate less because only support 10 kilogram. Yeah? Less, uh, less, less, um, less force, less extension. Okay, so that's it. Just very simple, very direct questions. Yeah? Another very direct questions. See you again in the, uh, so remember the force in the wire is always the tension. Okay? Uh, see you again in the next questions. Okay, thank you. Bye.